for beauties welcome to my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe in this video what i'll be showing you is how to make this caffeinator and the material i'm using here is satin dolphin dolphin satin so watch till the end to understand um we have our base here for this caffeinator and the measurement i have here is 23 by the width is 23 and the length or let me see the the length now is the width is 23 and the length is 18 inches because this base is going to have pleats at the front and you turn before you pleat your base you know this is certain it has a way of losing at where you cut it so you have to take it to your sewing machine first and secure the edge fold it and sew so that it will avoid losing on the four edges so after you have done with that you have to pleat your base pleat the front of your base the first thing i don't think i should speak much on this because unless you are new to headwear making so you have to pin it first and sew it straight because the, the pleat will be straight pleat it's not v-shape after you have pleated the first one you take the other one on top of it to cover where you have already sewed to cover it you pin it down and also sew you take the next one on it to cover the place you have already sewed and also sewed it and also sew it you can do like seven to five pleats it depends on what you want so this is what i'm going to do now take it to my sewing machine and do what i've explained it i will sew the edges and also sew the pleats at the front straight all right i'll get back now now I have sewed the plate and make my own to be cherry. You can make your own for depending on the width of your material. You know, I use 18. If you are making your own for you can use like 20 inches to 25 inches. Now get your undo. I use 10 by 5 inches. You can use 11 by 5. Now we're going to fold it is uh, like this and cut it slant the down part of the handle. So we're going to cut it slant, just like this. So now you take it to your sewing machine, the right side facing the right side, and sew it straight and turn it out. And that is what I'll go and do now. I'll show you the next thing. So after you turn it out, you've sewed it and turn it out, you take it to your sewing machine, and you face it to the, you face it like this. You now sew it straight and also face this one like this and sew it straight. You sew it to the band. To have a neat work, you know, this satin will remove if you don't tuck in it, tuck it inside. So you put it inside like this before you sew. You know, you hide that straight side and face it and sew it straight. And that is what I will do. I will do the same thing to the second part. Make sure you put it inside the trading part. So I've already fixed the handle to the caffeinator. Look at it. So there are different ways you can make your hand in. So now I will turn it inside the right side facing the right side. And I want to sew now. So you leave the band side and sew from here. And you sew it from here like that. You will just leave the band side and sew it just by the way you sew your cap, your turban cap. And that is what I will do and show you the next thing. So there after you do your running stitches, after you have sewed, do your running stitches on the side. And draw it together and knot it. So the running stitches will stop where you started your sewing. So you do it together and knot it. You do it together and knot it. So we are going to set this one aside now since we are done with it. For the pleats that will be on top, I have 30 inches here by 35, 34 inches. From here to here is 34 inches, 
30 inches and from here to here is 35 inches now i'm going to fold it this way so i'm going to fold it into two like this and then i will measure six inches from here six inches so after six inches i will cut it like this and cut it out So after cutting it out, I'll take it to my sewing machine and sew. So we, we have to do the same thing to this side. I have to do the same thing to the other side of this material like this. So I will use the first one to cut the other one. You can cut 5 inches and you can also cut 6 inches the way I cut it. So thereafter, I'll take it to my sewing machine and sew it to the right side facing the right side. The right side facing the right side. So I will sew it from here, sew everything, and I will leave a small space to turn it out. So now, after you have sewed it and turned it out, from where you turn it out, use your sewing machine to close it up like it, like this. So now we want to play it. You pleat it like this. Just like this. Take it up again. Again. Take it up like this. Like this. And thereafter. And thereafter, use your peg to hold it down. So after that, take your take your thread, your machine thread and needle, and use it to tack it together. You sew it together. I'll first start from here because I don't want the down part of this thread to show. I'll start from here. I will then go inside. Don't make it tight. Don't make it tight and arrange it properly before you start inserting your thread inside it. Bring it properly. Don't make it too thin so that you don't press the material together. So you can go inside again. When you're going inside, make sure where you insert your pin, your needle is very close for, to where you came out. So go out again and don't make it thin. Can you see where I did it? So I'll try to knot it now. I'll do the same thing to this side and this side. So then after you I, I try to trace the pleat you pleated and give it to form this one. You can see how I'm doing it now. You can see. So I will also tack it down with the needle and thread. I will do the same thing to the other side also. And remember, when you are tacking, don't tack it too thin. Don't make it too tight. I have tagged the three places that I said I would tag there, and I also tag this one now. So I will adjust it so that I don't want it to be too thin. So after you have tacked everything, you remove your peg. See how it looks as if it's a scuba, it's a satin. And if you want it to be, if you want more plates than this, you have to increase the weight of it. You know, I use 24 inches there, you can use your own to be 60, 50, it depends on what you want. So, the nice thing now is to place it on the body of the scaffinator and use your needle and thread to tack it down. Just take it one, like tack it small, small. The, what I will be doing is that I will not be tacking from up like this. Press it, it will press it down. What I will be doing is that I will take the last pleat of the pleat and 
use my needle and thread to sew it down to the body of the scaffinator. And I will tack it one, two, three. After tacking this one, I will cut out the thread. I would have showed you how to do it, but I don't like it. There's nobody around to help me with my camera now. So I'm the one helping myself. <laughs> I'm very sorry for that, but it's just very easy. Just very easy. Just tack it down. Make sure you tack it very well and in a neat way. So that's what I will do now and show you the next thing. You will see that this one will go down. You know, the reason why I cut it that way, you know, I cut some part out of the pleats that time before I sewed it, is because of the back. I want the back not to look somehow. There's a way it looks if you don't do it the way I did it. So now I'll go ahead and do what I explain and show you the next thing. And this is it. I have tagged it. I tagged it in three places. One, two, three. Can you see? So for the one at the for the one left over, what I will do now is to join it together like this. Can you see what I did? I will just bring it together like this and use my needle and try to tack it in a simple way that like that. So let me go ahead and do that. Look at it. This is big beautiful. You just as if it is scuba or ash okay and it is satin. Just imagine. So what I'm doing now is to turn the back together. What I explain is to tack it together and I'll cut it out so you can go ahead to do whatever you want on your scaffinator. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do now on my own. So what I'm doing now is to tack the back together. What I explain is to tack it together and I'll cut it out. So you can go ahead to do whatever you want on your scaffinator. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do now on my own. You, I have my material cut out and cut out here, and I have um I have already sewed it. I have one fifty inches. Sorry, one thirty inches. The length is one thirty inches. You cut 60, 60 plus under one depends on the length of on what you want to get. Maybe the rough or the fuller the the longer the length the fuller the rough. So I have one thirty inches here, and now you take it one thirty by eight inches. That is what I have here. You can make your home to be more than this. You can alter the measurements. It depends on what you want. Now I'm going to take it like this, one and a half. You no, know, this is the two edges, the two ends of the clutch. So I have, I will mark one and a half. I wish I have marked already, already one and a half from here. And here I will mark three inches. So I will slant it and cut it out. I will slant it and cut it out. So after you have joined it together, like make sure you join it. Like this and straight just join it straight like that and turn it out from maybe you leave about two inches or three inches to turn it out so i've already sewed it i want to go and sew the many part i cut out so that i'm able to turn it out and we we'll reform our ruffle so i'm just turning it out now So now, after you have torn it out from where you left, you close it up using your sewing machine. And now we want to start our gather. Double your thread inside your needle and continue your gather from here along where you sewed. So the way you sew must be at the center, you can see. So that is what I'll be doing. I'll do a running stitches. along the side the place you can see what i'm doing now so 
So after you have passed the thread inside, you just be pulling it. You pull it, pull it very tight, very firm. You can see, you can see, and arrange it very well. So that is what how you will do. You will continue like that. Pass the thread inside it and pull. Pass, pass the thread and pull. But make sure you are passing the thread along the center of the clothes of the material. It must be along. It must be along the, the center. So you pass your thread and pull. And this is it guys, I've drawn everything together, look at it. So you can either increase your own to 150 or 160, but this one I'm using 113, but I should, I'm supposed to use 150 because uh, I don't have any material left over again, that's why I use 130. The 130 is still okay. So it depends on what you want, you can adjust it and you can draw it together the way I did my own and just place it on your scaffinator or your turban so i'll go ahead now and place it on my turban and i will show you how i'm going to do that so i've gotten where i'm going to place the rough one i have placed it i have used this needed uh, the office me to tack it down here so the rough is going to stand look at it look at what i did it's going to stand like this now after you have placed it on where you want it to be and you discover that this thing does not reach the back that is why i say you should use up to 150 or more than that try to draw it because that is what i did i did not cut how the thread after gathering so um i drew it so that the the ruffle so that the ruffle will reach the back you can see so that is what i did you see that it's not that full like the first one i did so it just depends on the type of you know we have different type of ruffle and that is what is trading now different type of ruffle you just need to sit down and be creative that is all about headwear making so i will just go ahead now and tack it down to the scaffinator i will tack it down to the cap and again i want to advise you if you want this thing to be more beautiful than this you have to increase the plate the number the number of the plate you know i use um 34 inches then you're gonna use your own up to 50 or 45 so that this place will be able to come up and your ruffle it will be able to balance with your ruffle you can see can you see so but this thing is still okay for me i'm good to go with this now i'll try to find a way that i will attach this to my cap in a way that it will stand very well and firm so now i'll first start the sewing the tacking from the center that i pin it down I'll tack it in a way that nobody will know that I use thread to tack it. So by the time you are coming inside again, make sure it's very close to where you came out. So that the, the sewing will not show outside. And make sure you tack it firm to the cap very well. So that the ruffle will be able to stand firmly on the cap. So I'm just tacking it down now in a very neat way. And make sure you use um, a machine thread. Make sure you use a machine thread. And if you discover at the end of the day, after sewing that there is a place that is showing, you can use your, um, use your what is it, what is it, pearl to cover that place. I use your pearl to cover it like place your pearl on it so i'm just tacking now after tacking this place 
I'll, I can play, I will place it on my dummy here to know where I'm going to tack. So you tack it down. After tacking the face, you tack this one down here and also tack it at the back so that you have a very beautiful curve and it will be able to stand very well. So by the time you are doing your ruffle, this ruffle must reach the back here. So my bone is not reaching there. I'm just going to manage it like that. So I will go on to tack now and show you the finish look. Please, I've explained how to tack it very well. Make sure you tack this place first. Tack this one down in a very neat way and at the back also. So for you to be able to tack the ruffle to the scaffinator easily, you can first pin it down. And that is what I did. You can see pin. I've not tacked it. It's only this part alone that I attacked. But I discovered that for me to be able to do it comfortably, I use my pin to hold it down. Can you see? I add it down here, 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 and here. Can you see? So it's this part that I'm holding with my office pin. That is where I'm going to tack. And I will make sure that when, my, when I'm tacking, I patiently do it that nothing will show outside and you can see and if you know that anywhere any after you attack those side that the ruffle is not standing well you can also tack it at the front here very neat a neat way you can also tack it and when you are done you adjust because i'm going to do my own later and show you the end product and the result so you must make sure you do the ruffle very well you must make sure you do it very well you must arrange it so that you have a neat a uh, beautiful work can you see so the ruffle is a major thing that you have to concentrate more that you have to concentrate more on it can you see so this is beautiful you can now go ahead to embellish it with your pearls or your stones or anything you want okay okay now so i will go ahead and tack my own and also embellish it okay you see the back this is beautiful this is beautiful you see all right see you later bye